object oriented analysis unified approach. So, in this session we are going to discuss and concentrate on this topic. In the previous video we have discussed what is the unified approach and what is the layered architecture. In the next video we will be discussing object oriented designed unified approach. So, object oriented design unified approach must be coming after object oriented analysis unified approach. So, let us discuss what is the object oriented analysis unified approach and what are the steps to be followed up with the numbers step 1, step 2, step 3 in this way. So, the goal of object oriented analysis is to understand the problem domain and the system responsibilities by understanding how the user will use the system. So, depending upon the user's usage, how the user will use the system, the analysis has to be done and all the requirements are to be gathered and they are to be analyzed in this object oriented analysis phase. So, OOA step 1 identify the actors who is the user of the system. So, at first we are supposed to find out all the actors. What is the meaning of the actors? That means who will be the user of the systems. Later we shall show you that these actors can be categorized as the primary actors and the secondary actors. Next one is the object oriented analysis step number 2. A simple business model using UML activity diagram has to be developed. So, a simple business model is to be developed and here we will be having the list of operations or list of uh, processes which will be initiated by these actors they are to be represented in certain diagram. Next one is object oriented analysis step 3. So, develop the use case, list the works carried out by the users of the system and provide comprehensive documentation of the system under study. So, what is the use case? Use case means nothing but the functional requirement of the system. So, what are the use cases will be initiated by these actors? They are to be represented in a certain diagram and then also we shall have to write one documentation where this use case detailing will be written. Step number 4, OOA step number 4, develop interaction diagrams to identify the classes. So, determine the sequence of actions and develop the sequence and the collaboration diagrams. So, in this particular phase, we are going to uh, form the sequence diagrams and the collaboration diagrams and they are collectively known as the interaction diagrams. So, as we are not having the idea on these particular diagrams, we are having the separate chapters where we will be discussing what is the sequence diagram and what is the collaboration diagram. I can tell you this one that this sequence diagram and collaboration diagrams, they are actually denoting that how the messages are being passed and received between objects. In case of sequence diagram, we will be discussing this passing of messages and re receiving of these messages along with the time that at what time which message has been received by which object and which message has been sent by which object and their respective serial orders. And in case of collaboration diagram, actually it will give us a static or the dynamic view rather I should say, the dynamic view of the system and here how these objects are passing their messages and receiving their messages that will be depicted. So, in the case of step 4, we are interested to draw the respective interaction diagram. So, now we are going for object oriented analysis step 5, develop static UML class diagrams. So, here we will be developing the class diagrams, identify the classes, identify relationships, identify attributes and identify the respective methods. A class will be consisting of certain number of attributes which will be holding values and certain number of methods which will be denoting that what are the permitted operations that we can carry out on those attributes and identify the classes with the proper nomenclature should be there so that from the nomenclature itself we can get the idea of what is the purpose of that class and identify the respective relationships between these classes. OAA, OOA step number 6 that is object oriented analysis step number 6 iterate and refine if needed and repeat the preceding steps. So, again we shall go for step number 1 to step number 5 again and again until the until the refinement has been completed. Now, the analysis phase object oriented analysis phase will get completed. 
So here you see we are having these actors develop use case activity diagrams, develop interaction diagrams here we will be having the sequence diagram and collaboration diagrams, identify the classes and relationships and attributes and methods. So attribute means the respective values what, what the class can hold and these methods are the permitted operations on them and refine and reiterate again and again until the system has become stable and in accordance with our requirement. So that is our object oriented analysis unified approach. Thanks for watching this video.